spoke to an APC chieftain, uh, Dr. Abubakar Alkali, who is the chairman APC Scotland and also uh, the chairman of the uh, Tinubu Shatima Grand Alliance in Scotland. Dr. Akali, thank you for joining us on the program. So the governor said the visit was about the redesigned Naira notes, but with all of them from APC, you can tell that it, it was a political gathering. Are you concerned about the implication of this policy on your party's chances in this election? Oh, thank you very much uh, for having me, and thanks for the invite. Uh, yes, obviously, I'm concerned just like uh, other Nigerians, just like many other Nigerians, about the scarcity of these uh, notes, and also about the fuel um, crisis uh, coming at a time when um, it's, uh, I mean, barely three weeks to, to election. Um, and I think uh, it is important, what is important now actually is that uh, the, the government has to I do all that is possible, you know, to ensure that elections, this election is such free, because there is no doubt about that, that this scarcity of notes will have uh, an overwhelming uh, effect, you know, overwhelming negative effect on the elections. Um, your reporter just said it, uh, a lot of people are actually out of business as we speak because of the scarcity of these NERA notes. And uh, a lot of people are disenchanted. We know voter, uh, voter apathy is one of the um, challenges, you know, year in, year out uh, uh, to the elections. And a lot of people may not be encouraged to vote. You know, a lot of people might be disenchanted, you know, to vote because they will ask you, just like they have been saying, well, what am I voting for? I mean, when the leaders cannot give me even um, a, a, a little of fuel when I cannot uh, withdraw cash. What am I voting for? So the uh, challenge to elections is not only violence, okay? Violence is not only the challenge to elections. This kind of uh, issues, uh, particularly scarcity of currency notes, is a very, very big challenge. And, that and I, I think at this point in time, it is important to find, um, to think out of the box and find a stopgap measure, stop measure, at least to see to the success of the election. So I fully align with the position of the governors that, uh, um, you know, the old laws should go pari uh, um until at the time when the nation is able to ensure that... Uh, Talking about finding a solution, Dr. Akali, the president is asking for some seven days to make a decision. Do you think he has that luxury of time? Already there are, there are, there are protests, uh, there are people going naked in banking halls. We have seen videos of young people attacking banking, uh, I mean, bank facilities. You also, I'm sure, are aware about how quickly things escalated in 2020 after the hoarding of palliatives. We we'll probably will get back to the chairman, also the convener of the Tinubu Shatima Grand Alliance in Scotland for more on this development. Uh, the situation right now is that of um, very grave concern, particularly where you consider the implication of this on the forthcoming election. Dr. Akali is back. I'm asking, I was asking you if you think the president has the luxury of time. He's asked for some seven days to make a decision on this matter. Yeah, just like I was saying, I do not think that the president or the government uh, has luxury of seven days. I really don't think so. Um, seven days is, is a long time. The crisis is gaining momentum. It is spreading to states. Uh, people are really uh, uh, angry and frustrated. That, that I can tell you, I've been on the streets uh, today, yesterday, and the day before. Uh, people are really, really uh, anxious. There is a lot of anxiety and a lot of potential that this uh, crisis could get out of hand. So a decision that should come you know, as soon as possible. However, I think the seven days um, kind of moratorium that the, the, the government, the president is asking for is to be able to gauge you know, 
the, 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 the efforts of the, of the uh, central bank and other stakeholders in, you know, uh, the new notes are available, is to see what kind of progress, you know, has been made in that direction. You know, uh, um, within the seven days, a lot of improvement may have uh, been made and more currency notes are made available. Uh, but I think, to be honest, this is um, a, a big lesson. Uh, there is no way you could have a currency change and you are not prepared. You know, you give a that deadline and you are not prepared. Then, uh, I mean, what, what are we actually looking for? What I hear you, Dr. Akali. I'm afraid that's our time. Dr. Abubakar Akali, Chairman APC uh, Scotland, thank you so much for.